Hello everyone. My name is Fandof Azike Azike. Today I'll be talking on the subject title How to Restore Family and Community Values Part 2. Very, very important. However, if today is your very first time of seeing my teachings, please consider to subscribe. When you subscribe, you will learn more of practical political education and personal and leadership development. Do not forget to click the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new teaching, you can always get notified. Click the like button as well your comments will be highly appreciated. The subject title, How to Restore Family and Community Values. Do not forget the change we wish to see in the society must start with us. And the society we want to see tomorrow is what we invested in our children. Very, very important. The overview of the subject discourse revolves around the erosion the pervasion of values in our current society. How can we restore the ideal value system that can make a society a better place? One of the missing values that we must deploy is patience and the time. Patience and time work hand in hand in building human capacity, in shaping our decisions, in making who we are. If we deploy total quality management with patience, we will get everything right. Patience is a very, very vital value. Time is very, very vital value from all perspectives. Time and tide wait for no man. If we want to build a society that we will appreciate, we must prioritize timing. We must be patient in terms of planning to get things right. Today, the society is lacking and crying for patience. At the same time, the time factor is very, very important, an integral part of human development. Today, if really we want to restore the family values, parents must create or make our time to give the right instructions to their children. Instill the right values principles to their children. It is obvious that parents walk around the clock in our modern society just to acquire wealth, just to create wealth. 
but unknown to them that these same children that they will retire all their labor to are not properly instructed. They are not well taught. Thereby, they will mismanage or possibly abuse all this investment. So parents must realize that if their children are not properly instructed, given the right values, the right culture, they will not succeed in the family. They cannot handle the family estates. They cannot handle the family assets because they lack the right information they lack the right discipline they lack the lack they lack the values at the same time they cannot handle the community values they cannot handle the country at large so if really really we want to build a society that we all will enjoy. Parents must create time. Parents must be patient enough to find out the capacity, the right career to understand their own children. So, they can now be able to factor them where they can achieve their potentials. Time and patience is one of the values that parents must begin to deploy in our various family to make children what to make these children to sustain a society that we call ours or a society that we grow for better. If we give them the right values, they will grow and make a better society. Parents must create time, have the patience, to educate their children so that their children will make a better society. Another value that we must begin to encourage is generosity. Generosity is a value that we must begin to deploy. A society whereby the have and have not live in harmony is as a result, there is what? The value of generosity, the value of love, the value of being your brother's keeper. The value of teen spirit. The value of one law. In a society whereby you always remember your neighbor. You care for your neighbor. There will be less crime. There will be less hatred in the community, in the family. If we begin to be generous by making ourselves available 
making our our minds open the society will be a better place but a situation whereby they have not do not have hope for tomorrow and the economically advantaged ones are not ready to be generous or be open or extend that olive hand to others. Hatred, evil, will continue to prevail in the society. Parents should begin to demonstrate, to teach the children the power of being generous, the joy in sharing. When we begin to do that, the society will be a better place. Very, very, very important. Above all, Of all, we must be sincere. Like we said before, honesty, integrity, love, determination, all of these are values that we must deploy to make our society a better one. When we build and instill these disciplines in our children, that is the society we are going to see in the nearest future. The society we wish to see today or tomorrow is what we invest in our children. The family becomes a better family, the community becomes a better community if we begin to maintain and continue to instill the right values. Value is very, very important in our life. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for the now. Thank you.